Hello everyone. I am Mary and I am back to, with you this week and so excited to share another story from our Bible. It's so good to be back with you and I'm really excited about this week's story. We're going to talk about John the Baptist and Jesus. But before we get started, why don't we say the Pledge of Allegiance? So can everybody stand up for me? Take your right hand and put it over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good job, you guys have been practicing your pledges. So the next thing we're gonna do this week is we are gonna talk about our verse. But before we do that, can everybody see the shape? Does anybody know what shape this is? It's got one, two, three, four, five, six sides. It's a hexagon. Did you guess hexagon? And what about the color? What color is that? Is that purple? That's one of my favorite colors. That is purple. So this week, we are going to have our verse of John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. John 3.16. Now I want you guys to practice that at home, okay? That's a really wonderful verse. And I want you guys to practice that. And by the end of the year, I bet you're going to know all our verses by heart. So this week, we're going to start a story out of our Bible, and we're going to talk about John the Baptist. Now, um, John was a man who lived in the desert. Does anybody know what the desert is like? The desert is sandy, and it's hot, and there's not very many people around. So he was kind of all by himself there. John lived all alone in the desert, and he wore clothes made of camel's hair. And what do you think he ate out there in that desert? He ate bugs. Ooh, yuck. He ate bugs and honey. He could find honey out in the desert, so he ate that also. So one day when he was in the desert, God told John the Baptist a very special message that he wanted him to share with all the people. So he was to go and tell the people that Jesus was coming and that Jesus was the savior God had promised to send. So John left his house where he lived in the desert and he went to an area near the Jordan River. He told so many people that a wonderful man was coming named Jesus. And everywhere John went, people came to hear him. They loved hearing about Jesus, so John told all of them that they needed to get ready for Jesus, and they needed to be sorry for the wrong things that they had done and not do those wrong things anymore. They needed to get rid of their old sin, and they needed to start a new life and cleanse their heart and be ready for Jesus. So... They, John wanted to baptize people to wash away their sin. And baptism is a symbol that we want to get rid of something we did that we're not happy about. And we're just wanting to wash away our old behavior and we want to start afresh to it and live a new life following Jesus. So the people would walk to the edge of the river and then they'd walk into the river and John the Baptist would baptize them by dunking them in the water. And Jesus wanted everyone to know how important baptism was. So one day, Jesus came to John and said, John, I want you to baptize me. So John and Jesus walked into the river and John baptized Jesus. And here's a picture. Can you see John and Jesus standing in the water together? 
So once John baptized Jesus, when they came out of the water, God spoke in a voice from heaven and said, This is my son who I love. At that very same time, the voice of God spoke. The heavens opened up and the Spirit of God came down on Jesus like a dove. And that dove was a sign that Jesus is the Son of God and that he was ready to start doing the work God sent him to do. What a great story from the, our Bible. And if you want to look at any more information about it, you just open up your Bible and you can find this story and you can read it again if you want to. But right now, let's pray before we finish our time together. God, thank you for Jesus, for teaching us about baptism. Thank you for forgiving us when we do the wrong thing and tell you that we are sorry. Thank you for John for teaching us and Jesus for showing us. Amen.